actually feel like at this moment I could I could collapse. There was someone right behind me. <laughs> I need to get up really quick. I need to get up quick. Hello, I'm Yvette Fielding, and this week I've brought you to a place that oozes with paranormal activity. Phantom doctors, ghostly patients, and poltergeist activity. Welcome to Leeds and to the Thackeray Medical Museum. The Thackeray Medical Museum is housed on the site of the old Leeds Union Workhouse, designed and built by workhouse architects Perkins and Backhouse, it opened its doors in 1861 to 784 paupers. So much like a prison were these places that the poor who were forced here were called inmate. Personal items taken, families split up, and nothing but hardship and hard labor before them, many people believed they had come to the end of the line. Over the years, the workhouse grew, and so did the building, with new infirmary wings to house the large numbers of sick and injured people who needed to be admitted for free health care. In 1915, the workhouse and infirmary buildings were offered to the war effort, and this main building became the East Leeds War Hospital. King George V came here in person to visit the soldiers, taking the time to speak to each one in turn. With so much misery and death associated with this building, it's no wonder that people have witnessed many a haunting. From poltergeists, a phantom doctor, and even a dark entity, with so many stories of paranormal upset, I had to bring my team to the Thackeray Medical Museum. Medicine or magic? Hundreds of years ago, if you were ill, you went to the apothecary. And in all these jars, there would have been a cure for everybody's ailments. Now, along the whole of this first floor, many strange noises have been heard, dark shadows have been seen. But fortunately, for this room, no poltergeist activity. have made a replica of how the streets in Leeds would have looked in 1842. Now this building was built on top of a workhouse where the poor, the sick and the lowly would have lived and died. The whole of this area allegedly is rife with paranormal activity and is said to be haunted by a very negative dark entity. This really is going to test the nerves of some of our crew when the lights go out tonight. The amount of lives lost in this area would have been in their hundreds. Before 1925, the hospital staff would have had to deal with basic equipment and no electricity, both a hindrance to the doctors trying to save lives. But what about the phantom that's seen wandering around wearing a white coat? Could he be the ghost of a doctor stuck in this place? What about the moaning guttural cries that are heard in the dead of night? Could they be the ghostly cries of patients striving to be set free? Looking to get more of an insight into this place, we asked eyewitness Jason Osterfield what he had experienced. We did a paranormal investigation here. Uh, we had a lot of activity in the streets, which is set out like an 1842 streets. It's very smelly and dark in there. It is quite foreboding, apparently a negative spirit of a man that walks through there. People in the building pick up on a lot of smells in, in there. Um, it is quite smelly during the day anyway, but there's been other 
fragrances picked up, uh, perfumes being picked up in there as well. So we have a cinema in there which is set out like uh, a cinema with an operating table in front of you. The door has been known to kind of move on its own. It's, it's on like an, a mechanism but it has been known to make a noise and bang back and forth as well. So the Wilkinson Gallery which is full of vases in there has been known to um, have the odd noise in there and voices. With so many witnesses and mysteries surrounding the Thackeray Museum and its hauntings, I wondered what demonologist Fred Batt had to say. It's very active down here, so it's going to be interesting tonight just walking around here because what you see conjures up a lot of stuff in your mind anyway. You're thinking you're in a Victorian street with these little shops and offal and meat everywhere. It's horrible down here and a horrible smell as well. They've really created it well. But a lot of people have seen um, what they think is a man in 18th century dress wandering about down here. The other thing they've seen down here is a man in a white coat. This place was a workhouse, a hospital in wartime. They brought soldiers here by train from, the, the, from France and, and treated them here. And then now, it's what it is now, a museum. Um, but it's had a lot of history, this place. Apparently, there's meant to be dark, demonic things that happen down here. Well, that could be this person who was thought to be a witch. She was an evil person, very evil. So the evil will probably still be around. It will still come through. I think we can expect a lot of activity tonight. This place is ripe for it. With what it's been over the years uh, and, and the way it's dressed up now. So tonight, I think, will be a very good night. It's always good to get a skeptic's point of view. So what are Glenn Hunt's thoughts? Glenn, this is an interesting building. I think we're going to have a great night tonight. Well, it's dressed up to be a haunted building, isn't it? It's a facade, there's dummies, there's displays, there's smells. I mean, look behind us, we've got this macabre set of a, an operation going on. It's dressed up to look like a hospital. There's medical equipment lying all over the place. And, of course, on the ground floor, we've got the Victorian street. It plays with our minds straight away. We're already expecting things to be as they were in those times. Uh, stories of a, a doctor wandering the whole place. Nothing so much, though, on the side of it being a workhouse, which I find is very interesting. So whilst we're with the team tonight, because of what we see with all the, the dummies and the statues and the, and the false street and the smells, uh, straight away, uh, we'll be thinking that if we do see a doctor, then it must be something to do with the place being haunted rather than our minds playing overtime. For me, the one thing that I find fascinating um, is the dark entity that apparently has been witnessed um, in the Victorian street area. Apparently lots of children on school tours don't like going in that area. And I can understand why, because it's dark and it's a little bit scary, and, um, but some of the staff don't like going there either because of the feeling that uh, they get. What do you think we're all going to experience tonight? What I'm really expecting tonight is for the crew and all of us to maybe see things because of the way the whole building is dressed up. I've had a wander around before uh, and I'm quite happy that all the windows are sealed shut. It's a sealed building. Now, obviously, being a museum, we've got doors opening and closing automatically, so we know about that already, but it's still not going to stop us feeling uneasy in the darkness when we're scrambling around trying to find our way into places. But anything that happens outside of that will be the most interesting. With the team assembled, it was time to have a look at the museum with the lights on. This place, as soon as you walk in, the atmosphere changes straight away, doesn't it? You start to feel a little bit... It's a little bit eerie, a little it bit is. creepy. But again, this is the way the room's dressed, isn't it? I yeah. mean, we've got a fake floor, although it is made to look like it's some kind of concrete. And look at the walls, this lovely brick. Yeah. You know, it's all, it's all plastic. It's not, none of it's real. No, it's I an know. illusion. There and again, when you get something dressed like this, as you know with the underground in London, you dressed up, it attracts the paranormal. That's it true. attracts spirits. Yeah. So that's, I'm hoping that'll happen tonight with this. Yeah, it's a very good point, actually. Yeah. We have found that, that that happens. A lot of people that do the reenactments of things, yeah. right. uh, they find that they often will see... A lot of them will see a spirit or something that can't be explained. Mm. So, yeah, it's a really good point. But also, as I was saying, a lot of people, like staff, don't like coming down here at night time either. Okay. Um, but apparently there's a dark entity down here. I think it's got something to do with a witch who was supposedly a witch, but she wasn't really a witch. Oh, OK. She right. was a confidence trickster and a fake psychic. Right. OK. Well, but oh, yeah, that'd be interesting. It's very interesting. Oh, 
OK, mm. that, that is good. Um, shall we just walk further on here? Because um, all these mannequins here and, yeah. you know, in the dead of night when we're wandering round and the night vision camera pans round and you catch, you know, you catch a... a a mannequin, it's going to completely freak you out, isn't it? Well, that's a, a trick of the light, and also, you know, you see these in the corner of your eye in the dead of night, and straight away your brain works over time, doesn't it? Yeah, and what we have to remember, of course, is we've mentioned it before, but this, of course, was a workhouse before right. it is the building yeah. we, we see today. Yeah. So, of course, people would have lived here, they would have died here, they really struggled and Hundreds had a terrible of time. Died here. Yeah. yeah, and it's interesting, isn't it? Because, of course, you, you've got the I've information. Got a list of everybody that died in the workhouse so if any names come to us tonight on the Ouija board I can tell you who they are where they were born and everything yeah. that's quite interesting because mm. ordinarily you hear more about the medical history of this building but not necessarily so much about the fact it was a workhouse well, and not so much in the history you see I find it more interesting talking about the workhouse to be honest yeah. mm. I mean, purely because they were such, they were the most horrendous places. Mm -hmm. I mean, your life had just had to have fallen to bits oh, to God. end up in a workhouse. Mm -hmm. I mean, how sad, some of the most appalling stories, mm -hmm. yeah. you know. So, you never know, we might pick up on, on something uh, about that tonight. Will, yeah, I think we will. Yeah. yeah. There's, and this... there's more to come from that than anything else, I think. Well, we shall see what happens mm. this evening. Okay. Ears and eyes all about us. Yeah, I think this you. place, Stuart's come down here already and he said, when all the lights are off, oh. he said, you can't, you can't even see your hand in front of your face. Yeah. Well, you won't be able to see those then, will you? No, that's very true. <laughs> that's very, very <laughs> true. You put you off. You <laughs> no. bump into one and his face is there. <laughs> don't you? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> come on, let's go back out that way because I want okay. to go and have a look at uh, another one of the areas. Now, this is a room where you don't want anything thrown or you don't want any poltergeist activity here whatsoever, do you? No, you don't, but it's quite valuable, this stuff, actually. It goes back to the 18th century, some of it. And some of the, the, these jars here are, of course, to mix lotions and potions for, yeah. for poorly people and for your ailments, and the doctor well, would be able to, to the, fix you. The apothecary was a, like a modern-day pharmacist would yeah. do today, where they used to mix the stuff and dispense it as well. Yeah. So it's like a chemist, really, I suppose. What I find interesting about this room is obviously we've got all these old jars uh, for mixing the, uh, the medical treatments up, but it's, it's dressed up like a modern museum. I think mm. because there's, there's no facade in any way, it, it'd be interesting if you get any paranormal activity in here because you're not perceiving anything mm. would happen in here. So if, if we did get anything, I think this would be one of the rooms which would be one but of the isn't best. It, isn't it strange that to, to today you get Chinese medicines using animals? If you look up there, there's a baby crocodile that they probably used to make some of the medicines. Mm. That's Absolutely. why it's in there. Isn't that strange? With my experience, when there's been paranormal activity in museums and there's been sort of glass cabinets like this, a lot of the time you'll hear tapping, but it's actually on the glass. Oh, oh OK. So that's something to listen out for this evening. Mm. There's knocking noises that, that have been uh, uh, heard in here, um, mm. dark shapes and shadows moving around. Again, it's just this whole first floor. It's yeah. the same sort of paranormal phenomena, okay. but throughout the whole of the space. I, I, heard knocking, actually. I, I think I did too, yeah, 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 definitely. Is there anybody here? Yeah. It's over there. Somewhere. Yeah. Well, it's pretty lively already then, so that's good. I know, I know. I can't wait, actually. I just want to yeah, turn no, all the lights great. off in the building yeah, and let's just get going. I just hope we don't knock anything off a shelf. I know, I know. <laughs> I don't <laughs> want to knock anything off a shelf. Look, it's tapping away. You're going to talk to us this evening. Two big, loud knocks. Yes. Great yeah. stuff. Lead the way, Fred. Okay. With everyone acquainted with the building, it was time to turn the lights off. Carl and Stuart started in the cellars, while the rest of us took to the streets. I actually can't see a thing. Oh, who's grabbed all the Hello? I know I need to buy it. Oh, God, don't do that. What was that? For God's sake, Fred. Wow, Stuart, look at that. Oh, wow. Now this. I feel like going back in time. Crap. Purely because this will be really old. This part of the building. Where does that go? Hello? Hello? 
Is anyone here? If there is, can you affect Stuart? Myself? You just heard like a tinkling sound. I was just gonna say, I've just heard something. Like a, what was that? It sounded like a metal, something metal. I thought that was behind us, but I could be mistaken. I don't know where it came from. Hello? There's nothing. What you come with? Did you kick huh? anything? I've not kicked anything. No, there's nothing. I touched this, Carl. There's a pipe or something here. Yeah. That's not it. Whoa! That was one. What was that? Something has been thrown there. Hello? Or has something fallen from the ceiling? It's Could have fallen from the ceiling. It's been loose, Carl. But it definitely came from the ceiling. Let me torch you. Let me torch you. Let me. So we can see. There's no brackets there, everything's secure. There's pipe work there. Uh... Can I actually say that I actually feel like at this moment I could I could collapse. I could actually faint. What, do you need to sit down? Uh, no. In what way? In in kind of like a feeling weak or drained? No, just like you know, before you, I feel lightheaded, like I'm going to go bang. Mm. Let's move forward a bit. Maybe walking may help. Yeah, okay. What what are you sensing? Because I because uh, apparently I'm, there's this nasty entity in here. Well, so I'm hoping it's going to be the witch I was talking about. You just want to say something then? No. I heard a whisper. Did you? Oh, yeah. So did I. Yeah. 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 Right. Tell well, me what you heard. It was just a... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Hey, I'm so pleased you heard that. Oh, well, I just assumed it was one of you guys. Right. No, I heard it. And I heard it. Yeah. Yeah. That's why I didn't say yeah. it. Yes, so yes. good. It was, all... it was like a... Yeah, 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 that was it. Yeah, yeah. Have you got a torch on you? Yes, I'm going to. I'm going to, the the I'm going to leave an EVP recording in there because if there is a disembodied voice, at least then we can see if we can capture it. Yeah, do you want to sit there? Yeah, I'll sit down. Let's get, yeah. I am. I'm getting chill. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's getting colder. Right? <gasps> what? Oh, what? Come forward. You, Greg? What's yeah, there was someone right behind me. You know when you can just feel someone right behind you? Mm. Come forward. Touch someone, touch you back. Come on, we're not scared of you. Show yourselves. Or yourself. Tap, 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 yeah? Tap, yeah. If that's you, tap again. Come forward. The psychic imposter, the woman who told everybody she was a witch, the conjurer. Come forward, show yourself. Make a noise. I could have sworn I heard it in the distance. I did. So. I did. Hmm. did anybody else hear that? I've, I've heard a number of things. Re yeah. re constant little reminders that something's going on. There was a. Hmm. Yeah. There's a lot of sound. Is yeah, there? Sound waves on here. Should we have quick listening? Yes. <gasps> I'm listening. Yes. I'm here, I'm listening. That's and amazing. Was, yes, listening. before that. Yes, that was. Yeah. yeah. <gasps> yes, listening. That? Yes, That's listening. so good. Wow. wow. Any more? That was so clear. Yeah. What's that? Oh, yeah. What's he say there? I think that might. I think that might be of course. Let me just oh, let me just amplify that even more. I'm really eager to hear this actually because this is this is about five minutes long. This. <gasps> oh, okay. I mean, that to me, that's amazing. That, that sounds like of course. Just most interesting yeah. is the fact that. <gasps> of, yeah, course, of course. Of course. And like. Yeah. And like you, the device, the, the big device that you have set up, which is listening to radio waves. Yeah. This is just the microphone through the laptop. Well, there was no white noise with this. We literally no. left it where really? we heard the whisper before. We just left it there. So it's, you what know, else? this is just coming out of the thin air right now. Yeah, well, the point, obviously, is that we would hear somebody whispering that to yeah. the microphone. Yeah. yeah. If, you know, if 
And, and you can also, with us. Well, we've just got one on camera anything. and we're all totally accounted yeah. for. There's only the five of us, yeah. six of us down let's, yeah. let's keep listening. Oh. oh, let me amplify that. You ask if we can do something. Is this when people started to feel a bit funny? I don't know. There's answers to everything, isn't there? No, it? there is actually. That's that's. I don't think we've had an investigation where we've had so many answers actually yeah. like that after yeah. every yeah. question. I don't know what that one was. I don't know what that was. It's like a yes again, and then mm. something that can't quite make that one out. Can you tell us something? Yeah. Can you tell us your name? Oh. What's that? Is that a name? Yeah, it sounds like it's a name. Wow, if we can get a name, that... You've got the list, haven't you, Fred? Yeah. It's... Oh. It's what? I mean, it's filled, so I'm Great. gonna I'm gonna go and analyze. There might be somewhere I called out on there. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Wow. Oh, that'd be good. We'll all be coming back with you. Yeah. <laughs> this is definitely a really creepy place. I wouldn't like to come down here on my own. It's just the darkness of it. Hello. Who's here? Are there any nasty spirits or entities? in this cellar with us now. My name's Stuart. My name's Carl. After such a great start in the street, we continued our investigation, with Carl and Stuart staying in the cellar whilst we continued in the apothecary. Can you tap twice if you can hear my voice, please? Can you copy me? I heard a note from this side. Yeah. Did you? Side. Yeah, just the one. Just a little from exactly the same one. knock. Yeah. Yeah, you know I got that. Do you know yeah. when we were um, having the chat in this room earlier with the lights on? Yeah. And we heard the knocking, it was coming from this area, wasn't it? So, again. Oh, okay. Mr. Yeah. Yeah. Can you copy me? Yeah. There was something that floated through the back of shop. Wrong time of year for moths. Yeah. Secondly... Oh! Did I hear that? I hope you didn't hear that. Yeah, I did work. Yeah. No, no, no! What? Ooh. Yeah, yeah, I heard that. I thought that was you. No, it wasn't! Secondly... Oh! Secondly... Secondly that was fantastic. How cool yeah, was that? Yeah, that was really good. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, so that's, excited. Was that clear? That's, that's why fun. I just immediately thought it was you. Now, was it here or was it out here? No, I thought it came from the you, so it must have been really close. Cool. What's up? Did you just bang into something? No, it brought me right. Yeah, yeah, Set his laptop up. So did you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was yeah. so clear. Yeah. I'm going to see some heard that while I was talking. Um, I said it's the wrong time of year for moths. Yeah. Um, and when we were in the, the ground floor area before, I was sneezing, and we thought that might have been because of the dust. You didn't pick up any dust particles, did you? Guys? No, didn't see anything. But that oh, was a so that was a massive big old lump. So, ah. Yeah. So that I saw. Whatever Greg picks up is something else. That presumably. is interesting. <laughs> Give me a message. Give me a message. Can you say my name, Yvette? Can you say my name, Yvette? Can you come and talk to us? Did you hear that? Did you hear it? I heard that loud and clear. Right, I, I heard something very, very specific then, and it can't have come from anywhere else. I think I heard a, a person, voice. a male voice, a but male it was a voice. name. Did you hear a name? I heard a name. Right, I'm going to say the gender of the name. You tell me what the name is. 
I heard it was a female name. What did you think the name said? This is going to sound silly, this. I know where you're going, so yeah. Yvette. Yeah, that's exactly what I heard. Can you come and talk to us? Did you hear that? Is your name Yvette? Was that a no? It was a no. Was that a no? It sounded like a no. Was it Yvette you want to communicate with? The last time I heard her name mentioned like that was on the underground, underground tunnels. Is it Yvette you want to talk to? I have not heard anything that clear. Well, for a long, long time, that was clear. That was clear. That, was, was, a male, that was a male voice. <gasps> Who's that, there? That was in there. There's no. nothing in that corner. Who's down here? I'm sure that's a go. See, I don't like that. That's that's from a dead end. Do you wish us? Do you want us to go? It did say go. That was go. How do you feel, Sue? Scared. Whoa, 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 whoa. I just heard the name Yvette again. I, I don't know what to say. Um... Whoa! That's another. That was. Mind you, mind you. Cry that, you'll sit your head on that. You might have to sit your head on that. Thanks, Pa. Right from the. It's got to be whoever that male is now who said he met twice and has said go and no, that's got to be the spirit playing games with us now. That an object has been thrown. Well, okay, if you want to throw stuff, Let me you just don't scare me. Here. Bring it on. Come on. I can't. Bring it on. I honestly don't know where it's been thrown. Throw something at me. You don't scare me. Throw something at Stuart. Oh. Knock him out. Oh. What's that? Oh, what? Take the camera, man. What's the matter? Just take the camera. What's the matter? You okay? I'm gonna have to go. I'm gonna have to leave now. Okay. And I'm not in either because I know. I feel the consequences are going to be quite bad. Okay. Here you go. I have no idea what, what's upset Stuart. He's just gone down that way. I don't know whether to stay or go. I'm kind of freaked out here because of what we've been hearing. Um, I'm hearing like a growling sound. And I can't pinpoint where it's coming from. Hello? <gasps> it's in there, it's in there. <sighs> Come on, talk to me. <gasps> oh, oh crumb that man. He said get out. I'm sure it said get out. With both Carl and Stuart spooked by what lurked in the cellar, we continued in the apothecary while the troublesome duo went to the streets below. Which one is this bit? Uh, I don't know. Right? Hello? You can see more than me. What is that? What's that sound? What are you hearing? Do you hear anything? It's like somebody walking around, there's no one down here. I was gonna say it was coming from down where you can Hello? Everyone else. Oh, oh Christ! That scared the of me, that. Oh, it's hard. Hello? Who's here with us? Where's everyone else going? They're all in the apoth apothecary, they're upstairs. Oh, in that China room? Yeah. Right, okay. Are Just... there any spirits down here? Listen. Footsteps. They're coming from over there. Yeah, I know. 
I can hear them now. Let's come closer. I can hear them loud and clear. Right, stay still, don't move. Is that someone above? What's above us now? That's in front of us, Stu. Listen. Nothing, you can't hear people from above us anyway. That's, that's from, that is from over that, there. That is from over there, isn't it? I'm, I'm just trying to... If you're here, can you walk away from us? If you've walked towards us, can you walk away from us? That's unbelievable, it's walking away. It's getting lighter. That. Get down there now, around the corner. I can't see a great deal, Stuart. Oh, I'm behind you. I've got the, I've got the cam. Can you please wait for us? Don't leave us. We want to know who you are. Yeah, but that came towards us. That stopped. That stopped like it was about ten foot from us. Right, OK. So the, we've established there's something, someone, whatever it is, male, female, there's something here with us now walking around us. We've just got to find out some names. Just listen. It's like a woman's cry, like a... Hello? Oh yeah, I'll, I'll go first then, shall I? Well, you've got the camera. I just wish I had the nerve. Are you a female? Hello? Whoa. Whoa. What was that? that? That was back in there. That was... That was a female voice, that. Definitely. There's nothing there. There's nothing there. That was definitely <gasps> And there, another one. Hello? Who are you? Do you mean us harm? Are you trapped? There's got to be... It could... And again. Can you show yourself to us? Can you show us you're here? That is that way, isn't it? It's almost like this is this is the this area. This is the isn't area, it? isn't it? It's coming from this area. We can hear it. I don't know if the camera can hear it. Oh, the camera. It, it, if if we're picking it up, camera, if we're picking it up. Right. Hello. Yeah. Uh, no, I heard that. Yeah, yeah over, over your voice, then. It's like a, it, it's just as you were talking. Do you know what I feel? I don't feel good at all. Should, what do you want to say, go? What? Do you you might you might be picking up on some of the emotions that that went on here all them years ago. I just felt really dizzy. Well, it's not because we're in the dark, because you know we're, we're in the dark quite a lot. No, I'm, I'm used to that. I, I, there's something else. It's a. Do you know what it's like? Something's put a cloak over me. It's a. It's a. It's like a. Yeah. An instant <coughs> darkness. Wait a minute. <coughs> Right, my chest is really hurting now. <coughs> Are you affecting Carl? I'm crying out loud. You okay? Oh. Come on, do you want to get out? I can't be breathe. I'm, I'm let's get, get let's get I'm going. Out, let's get going. Hang on, let me get in front of you, Carl, because I can't see. You anything. can't see a thing. Yeah. Oh, I need to get out. Yeah, turn left, turn right. That's it. Oh. Here we go. Just follow me. Just come with me. Oh. You're all right. I need to get you some water. I can't see my way out now. You okay? Quick, yeah. yeah, yeah, come on, let's go. Let's go. Oh. You okay? I need to get out really quick. I need to get out quick. Uh. Let's get some water quick. Let's get some water quick. Oh! Well, that. That can save me, Amy, whatever it is. Let me go and get you some water quick.
Are you okay, buddy? Are you all right, pal? It's okay. It's all right. It's all right. I've not got my phone on me neither. It's okay. Right, I'm going to have to stop record here, buddy. Let me go and get you some water, okay? Yeah. You're going to be all right? Yeah? Mm. Two, two, two seconds. Stay with me. It's all right, it's okay, it's all right. Deep breaths, just take some deep breaths. It's all right, I've got you, it's okay. Take some deep breaths. Just take some deep breaths. It's okay. Here we go. It's like a long section of... Yeah, we've got somebody... I wondered if they, if they followed you up, actually, because we've got somebody who's... who's commented on, on what you've just said there. I see. Ooh. I see. I think that could have been I see. Picky, picky, picky. I'm glad you could pick something out because yeah. to yeah. me, that, that's just—it's just a bit garbled. It's just my liking. Listen, it is garbled, but the, the but point it's is, it's, 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 yeah. it's something after we've asked a question. Yeah. Oh, granted, yeah. I'll give you that because the timing is weird. You know, the fact—the fact that there is some kind of noise coming in, but I just wish it was. Yeah. But listen yeah. to this. Play it again. Listen to this last bit. I see. I see. Let me just separate that. Um, I'm sure, I mean, to me, it, to my ears, that sounds like I see. Hmm. It could even or be. Or can't see. No, it's not can't see. I see you. It's I definitely see. see. I've, I've seen. I pick out see. I've seen. Oh. I've seen. Hang on, what's this? Is that a U? Or a, um, what? It could be a U. Let me just amplify that. Oh, that's a bit creepy if it is. No, yeah. I've seen you. Yes. Oh, yes. Can That's you? Well, one. there's the answer. Uh, wow. If that is what you make it out to be, yeah. you ask the question, mm. "Can you hear me?" And you said, what and, do I and ask? the response you get is, "I see you." Is, is, is that what you? Is that what so you? The ask? question is Go on. The, the question and the answer. Go on. Can you hear my voice? Oh, I see you. Okay. Yeah. That's brilliant. That does. That that is. Yeah. So I, know, I know what you mean, Dan, but that is pretty... So that, that's better. It's, it, With the amplification and everything, it's a, it's a, it's a bit easier that's, on that's, the ears. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's instead good. of saying I, I can hear you... I've gone really cold. That's yeah. the best one we've had, isn't it? Oh. You might be picking up on something that's gone on in here, Carl. Because you've not been oh. like this all day. Oh. You've been fine. I can read it. I can read it. You OK? <sighs> you all right? Do you want to sit down on the bench? Oh, Let's get you sat down on the bench, buddy. OK, stay there. After a short break so Carl could get himself together, we all gathered around the Ouija board. Would we finally make contact with the alleged spirits that were seemingly trying to communicate with us? If there's anybody here, if there's a spirit person here now, can you come towards us now? Come into this room. If you could move the glass, to let us know that you're here. Talking to any spirit people that want to communicate with us. Oh, it's tilted. It's, it's trying to move it, but it's obviously encountering a bit of friction. Um, yes, that's right. Oh. Okay. okay. Down. It goes slowly down. It's like your gravity's not even helping it. Can you move the glass smoothly without tilting it? Eliza. 
Six. I'm sorry, Six. Fred. Six. Six. Sixty-one. Did you live to sixty-one in those yeah. days? Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Sixty-one. Did you die here at the workhouse, Eliza? What was that? Did you die here? No, there was a. Was that a flat? Like a whistling yes. thing. Yes. Oh right. Yeah. Yes. There was definitely there was a there was whistle a, over my left shoulder. There was a whistle or something was there? from from yeah. over there. Yeah. Eliza. 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 Can you tell us your surname, Eliza? What's your second name? B. E? A. E? I. Where is it? I. E. L. 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 B. I. A. L. B. L. B. A. B. A. Sounds like he. Eliza Bailey. Eliza Bailey. Yeah, have you got the paper? Yeah. Seriously? Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. 61. She was from Ireland, born in Ireland. Wow, look at that. Eliza. Eliza Bailey. Oh my Widow as well. Oh yeah. Wow, she asked one of the questions. She's just said the blog. Oh, oh no. Okay, keep from somewhere. Thank you, Eliza. That's really tough. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's fantastic. Keep going. No, because we can That's get clear. Well, I've just. What's this here? <clears throat> Let me simplify this for you. Because as you were saying, it was. It slowed down there. Things got more active here. Can you hear what you've, you've got? Do you make of that the fact that you've got Eliza, 61, that's corroborated with what Fred's got? Yeah. And, and something that's so separated from what we've got over there has said, and you know, you see it does sound like Eliza, needs more an analysis to, to see what we've got. But mm. What do you make of it? I can't. I, I think I'm, I'm actually lost for words. So, what, what, is it giving you something to think about? It's definitely giving me something to think about. I mean, if anything, the, the, the name Eliza being called out on the laptop, um, that probably warrants a little bit extra investigation than Eliza here, the sound analysed, maybe broken down or stretched or, or manipulated in a way that you can hear that it's definitely that name being called out. Um, but essentially, it's been really refreshing tonight and uh, I, I, think, I think we're on to something. Do you know what I actually love, and I know you all love this, is the fact that, because you're, you're one of these people that, that being a sceptic, there is a part of any paranormal group, and everyone will tell you, they, they kind of want the sceptic to kind of go, you know, I believe. But it's, one of the things about you is because you are open-minded, and all you want to do is proof and take away the, the natural phenomena that occurs. It's lovely to sit here and listen to you say, yeah, that's, that's give me something to think about. Yeah, I yeah, think that's brilliant. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's been a brilliant investigation. Yeah, it is. Yeah. I mean, that's giving me something to think about. Right? Yeah. Because remember, there's no radio coming through that. It's mm. not white noise, it's just a laptop. Yeah. I think we should end the investigation now because I, I just don't think we're going to better that. Um, but it's great to hear you actually saying that it's given you something to think about and it could be paranormal. Only nine more episodes to go. <laughs> Tonight's investigation had been a testing one. The Ouija board certainly came up trumps, and we seemed to get a connection with at least one of the museum's ghosts, which thoroughly amazed us all. But sadly, it was time to call an end to this particular investigation. I actually can't see a thing. Do you like going back in time? Hello? Oh, God! Don't do that! What was that? It's not it. Whoa! Did you just say something then? No. I heard a whisper. Did you? Oh, yeah. So did I. Yeah. I actually feel like at this moment I could I could collapse. There was someone right behind me. <gasps> yes. I'm listening. Yes. I'm here, I'm listening. What about the whistle There was something that floated through the back of shop. Yes. Yeah. Secondly. Oh, don't hear that. Can you come and talk to us? 
I see. Who? I see. Oh, my oh, oh, my 61. She was from Ireland, born in Ireland. Whoa! Come on, talk to me. <gasps> Hello? What was that? Let's go. Oh. You okay? I need to get up really quick. I need to get up quick. <gasps> Until next time, sleep tight. I need to feel alive.